All right. So let's check out this Lenny. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to check out the Lenny 12 Cub Pro. So I'm going to read the specs here real fast. This is a 15 watt to 1 watt amp, all tube. Uh, 12 inch uh, custom voice driver. Three 12AX7 preamp tubes and two EL84 output tubes. Line out as a mini optional extra foot switch. Um, it says amazing pedal platform. Here it is. I have some pedals down here that I'm not going to engage for this demo. Okay. Um, stand off speaker socket and uh, on, on board pre boost, which is very, really cool. It also has an effects loop. And the reverb, uh, can remember the name, but it's based on, on one of their pedals. It's a great reverb, although it's kind of a hall reverb, not, not very uh, spacey, but it's, but it's great, it nonetheless sounds great. So uh, right now I'm, my, I'm with my Les Paul Classic, and uh, we're going to try some tones here. It's everything at noon, no reverb. The volume is not at noon, uh, nor the drive. I mean, the gain. Yeah, I barely can read it from here. Hope you guys can see it on the camera. So on the neck pickup, without further ado, it sounds like this. By the way, uh, this amp goes extremely hot um, because uh, you know the tubes, and the only thing where the heat comes out is beneath the, the, the this this thing. All right, so it gets extremely hot very fast. But it's great because you can drive the amp really hard and still have a manageable volume in your home studio or in your room, okay? Not necessarily clean, but you can get uh, clean tones. Not totally clean, but almost. Um, and it reacts really, really good with the buckers and we're going to pick the strat later and it sounds really great. Yeah, it's, this is kind of an, a hedge of breakup tone. This amp has no standby, just a non and off switch. Let's go for the bridge pickup, play the kind of same chords. It sounds really great, I love it. And I love this edge of breakup tone that you can get a little bit further. Uh, I'm using my, my Schneider E906. Actually, I got another one because I'm always recording and uh, into Logic, so no post effects, nothing. So let me increase a little bit the gain here. Sorry, but I have to, the camera setup is not the best. You see how it sounds on the bridge pickup. Uh, much louder. It's one watt and it's super loud. On the neck pickup. Oh, it's volume. Let's add some reverb, but it like at noon. Sail of reverb. Sounds 
Let's increase more reverb. Let's mix it out. See how it sounds. Okay, so let's back it up uh, because we don't need so much reverb. So all the controls work perfectly. I'm just gonna play a chord, mess around with the controls. Mix out the treble. You take it all out. It sounds like this. Now let's go for the mids. Let's mix it out. Now let's take it all off. Awesome sounding. Let's max out the bass. Already very hot. And let's take all the bass down. Okay. I really like this kind of tone where there's actually no bass. It's a kind of um, very early tones. You know, this kind of thing. So I'm going to put it in the, at noon. Let's say like that. Now, I'm going to increase the gain, max it out, all these moves, just to go to the amp and decrease the volume. Because there's much volume right now, much more volume. On the bridge pickup, it sounds like this. Okay, now on the neck pickup. the reverb very sensitive to your dynamics and the volume knob So it sounds wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of gain like this and increase the booster at noon. Not increase, engage the booster at noon. Got a little bit of reverb. Okay, so it sounds like this with the boost engaged on the neck, on the bridge pickup. Now of course you can tailor the tone to your heart's content with the graphic, not a graphic, with the EQ knobs, but right now let it stay like that. Actually, let's go max it out. And also, let's max out everything. The gain, put a little bit lower. Okay, so it doesn't clip on my DAW. It's recording over there. It can be a little bit higher in volume. So 
not designed for metal, but I love this. Just a little bit of volume. And it goes into that fuzz territory, and um, I really love it. And I also have a booster here in front. I'm not going to get it right now. And a reverb delay on the um, effects loop and a tuner, mini tuner from, forget the brand, forgot the brand, I can't even read it from the, from here. But with the, with the booster, you really get uh, some great fuzz tones. Now let's go back to no drive or less drive and um, Switch guitar, see how it sounds with a Fender Strap. Sounds great, reverb is almost maxed out. Uh, there's a little uh, less bass, a little bit less bass with the strat, but uh, it sounds great anyway. I was trying to get a little bit more gain so we can go uh, some steel revolve and stuff like that. And less reverb, of course, for this one. Let me max out the gain. Reverb here.
So if you play it more softly, you can get some more clean tone. Take out a little bit of reverb so you can get some Pink Floyd tones out of this because the amp really compresses. Yeah. And now let's engage the boost and see what happens. can definitely hear, definitely hear that tube juice that we all know and love. So try to get some clean tones to end up the video. Now it's super hot right now. Might like a little bit of bass, especially if you're using a strat. But to get some vintage tones, this is perfect, man. I mean. Uh, when I'm recording for myself, I like to mix amps like the Katana and the Next Tone and even my Mini Rectifier or the Marshall. And this is a great addition, addition because um, it's small, super portable, lightweight, 1 watt, 15 watts is too much here. Uh, just one microphone. I think it's in the right spot, I hope. And you can mix it all out, out for more vintage stuff, not modern metal or rock stuff. Rock stuff, yeah, but not modern metal. But it sounds great, man, like that. I mean, just increase reverb to end up this video. It's already very long. Hope all the cameras are still working. to do that at the end so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, not so small demo of the Lenny cube 20 uh, 15 forgot anyway it sounds great uh, and it's not very expensive it's an affordable tube amp to have at home it's a great addition to your arsenal and um, you know funny thing is uh, the amp that is closer to this one in terms of tube tone it's the next one special and I've got a new pretty a new a great video coming out about about some new tones. So hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. And uh, stay safe wherever you are and stay tuned for more. Cheers. Mm -hmm.